Welcome back to the stream. Today is the first episode of the spiritual successor to Blind Play Wednesdays. We're calling it First Time Tuesdays. And the first game that I'm playing for First Time Tuesday is going to be, as you can see, Pandra Dragoon. So I'll go ahead and uh, let me get it started here. I am playing catch up. Woo! Barely made it. Oh, geez. <laughs> um, was just uh, having dinner with my family. We were making a little friendly wager, teaching my son what a bet is. Hopefully, I didn't just make a huge mistake. <laughs> we'll see about that. Time goes by, passing their existence in fear of the ever present shadow of cyber genetic warfare. The few remaining human beings struggle to regain the power that they have lost. I missed the first part of that. Whoops. That's what I get from not paying attention. With the desolate future, the people look to their past for a glint of hope. Excavations at an ancient tower have provided the people with a deadly arsenal now turned upon their foes. This power has created strife amongst surrounding nations, all struggling against each other and the evil forces of the Dark Dragon. The Dark Dragon. Uh, the fate of the world rests on the wings of an armored blue dragon. Okay. That's good to know. So I have never played this before. That's kind of the gist of the show. It's my first time playing it. I remember recently my co-host on the podcast, Full Metal Merc, he played a little bit of it. Didn't exactly dig it. I wasn't surprised because it's an older game and it's just basically combat. Oh, 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 that's loud. Let me turn that down. Sounds like they're speaking a different language. Unit one, unit two. Okay. But yeah, um, so I don't have high expectations, but it's always interested me, the concept. Yeah, who knows? Maybe I'll actually really enjoy it. I hope so. I want it to be good. So, we'll see. We got peoples running around the desert on Tauntauns. It looks nice for a... Uh, Sega Saturn game. Did a good job with the remaster, I'd say. So far. I mean, I know this is like a pre render cutscene, but. The battleship, is it one of ours? But why here? Bow now! Bow now! Bow now! Bow now! This game can be pretty consistently loud, so hopefully I'll be heard over it. What are they doing? I'm trying to shoot this little critter. This thing looks freaky. Get it! Shoot it! This is some kind of lobster. It's gross. It's either got three heads or three hands. I can't tell. Oh, I need to put the chat on. What if somebody who just absolutely loves this game pops in? I would hate to not be able to talk with them and go, Why do you love this game? Sir or ma'am? I need to know. Got the chat up. What's all this? There's a video game here somewhere. I just know it. I hope this doesn't do what a lot of games did in like the late 90s, early 2000s. Where, I mean, I, I did push start, so this isn't like an autoplay or whatever. But like where they show you the cutscene and then you start a game and then they show you the same cutscene again. Final Fantasy X does that. It bugs me. The worst part is, I don't even think you can skip that part. So if you mess up and watch it, while it's kind of just run... What is this thing? Oh no! Sir, get out of there! Put your goggles down so you don't get dust in your eyes! 
shoot it! You gotta come correct with something better than that little baby crossbow. That's not working. Oh, well, shit. No, he doesn't like it. He really doesn't like it. I think what really saved you, though, was that. It wasn't the cross. You were about to die. I just want you to know. Oh, shit. Is that our dragon? Uh-oh. Oh, dear. He's shooting at us now. Oh. Oh, that's got nothing to do with you. They're just flying through. Uh-oh. Oh, no. That poor guy. Saved just to be baked alive. Wait, no, he made it. This is riveting. I'm going on a whirlwind of emotions with this intro, and it's great. And again, this game looks gorgeous so far. I, I know it's a, a cutscene, but whatever, it's nice. I like, I like the design. I like the color. I am now excited to do dogfights in giant weird dragon creatures. I want it. So let me guess. Yeah, the, the pilot dies, and then you become the new pilot and get embroiled in whatever the hell is going on with these dragon people. Dang, just flew off. Like, pilot's dead. We're good. You must carry on my mission. My, my chest got a big old hole in it. Check it out. Help me. Oh, shit. He imprinted the power of dragon flight upon us. Don't let him go back to the tower. We gotta stop that guy. My dragon knows the way. Please. Oh, no. Oh, um, they're giving me the juice. It's time. Damn. Oh, the dragon. He's like, oh, no. First Khaleesi, now this? I can't handle it. All right, well, I guess I'm the protagonist now. Let's go. So I'm not always going to put a game up in the schedule for Thursday since it's casual and that's whatever I want to play on the day. But I went ahead and popped in Judgment because I'm playing Judgment right now. I just started it yesterday and I'm having too much fun with Judgment. Oh my god. I love it. Uh, so I'll probably be playing that on Thursday for funsies. It's just jumping in the middle of it. So if you're worried about spoilers, if you haven't played it yet, probably skip it. But I'm mainly going to be focusing on side quests and stuff and not moving along the main story unless I have to. Because I kind of like to do those open world games that way. I like to do a lot of the side stuff before advancing the story. So I got a few side cases I'm working on. It's really good at being a detective game. I have to say. Like, I'm really enjoying that aspect of it. Oh. Oh, shit. That is exactly what just happened. Oh, no. <laughs> I, I hope you don't have to watch that again. All right. What we got for settings? Performance mode. Yes, please. Classic reticle? I don't know what that means. I don't know what any of this means. Input mapping? I don't know. We're probably good. New game? Let's do normal. We don't know what we're, we're up against. Speaking of difficulties, though, if anybody does want to play Judgment, I would definitely recommend the hard mode. It's way too easy on every other difficulty. There's just too many opportunities to heal in that game because you can carry around medicine and stuff with you. And as long as you're paying attention and utilizing block and dodge, there's not really a whole lot that can happen to you. Yep. Okay, at least we can skip it. I totally called it, though. They totally did the 2000s thing where they show you the opening cutscene. Oh, my God. All right. Episode one. Here we go. Playing a video game, y'all. It's happening. It's loading up. Yep, it's going to load up real soon. It's 
uh, it's, we're gonna play the dragon. It's got a lot of dragons to load. It's a whole lot of. Wow, this is loading along. I gotta ask uh, Full Metal Merc, aka Derek. I gotta ask Derek what system he played his uh, Panzer Dragoon on, because mine load a long time. Okay, I gotta learn how to. Okay. Oh god. Okay. Oh, I think I. Okay. Shoot gun! Get out of here! Okay, I can't shoot those things out of the sky, it looks like. Okay, what? Okay, that shoots, that shoots. Okay, that does the same thing as the shoulders. Okay, alright. I think I understand. It's really disorienting, like looking right and left. I don't know if I'm into that. I'd rather just turn my dragon, please. Thank you. Yo, what is this? Get out of here. So, I mean, it's it's basically, whoops. It's basically a, uh, a shmup. But just like in 3D. That's the vibe I'm getting. Ain't nothing wrong with that. But of course, it's got a bit of a story to it, too. I don't know how much. Again, it can follow classic tropes and give you, like, front load a bunch of story, but then just all gameplay and levels until you get, like, maybe towards the end or at certain checkpoints throughout the game. Where are you at? You're squirrely, you know that? You're being squirrely. The sound is a little bombastic, too. I don't know if that's coming through on the stream of the video. I'll find out soon enough. But it's like... It's really... Almost, um... A little bit too much. Let me see if I can fix that. Uh, let's see. Nope. I forgot. We're on Switch. Sound settings. Can you... Like... Let me see. Just take it easy a little bit. Okay. Okay, let's see how that works. Yeah, that works. The sound like blows itself out. It's weird. Ah! Ah, you escaped this time, whatever it is you were. But I'll get you next time. Ow! Fuck! Ow! What do we do in this situation, I wonder? Stay away from the flower thing, for sure. Go up to the top here. Watch out. Can I kill it? I don't know if I can. The music is giving me... Like, classic Sega Grandia vibes, almost. I know that Sega didn't make Grandia, but I just mean, like, different types of games that I would compare it to. It's giving me, like, 90s fantasy anime vibes. I don't know how else to describe it. Oh. Oh. Watch out, dragon. They're coming. What's this thingy? This is the Naraka class Imperial battleship, and it wants none of your shit. I mean, let's go then. I don't care. I ain't scared of you. I already took out down your cannons, so what do you think about that? Okay, that's not doing anything. We gotta find something else to hit. There's people on the ship. I can shoot them, maybe. Yeah, there we go. Is that working at all?
Here we go. That's working. Oh, it's not working again. Yeah! That's right, I'm styling on you now. You can't even handle it. You can't. Uh-oh, uh-oh, no. Stop, what are you, where are you going? Where are you going, missile? Oh shit. Stop that missile. Stop that missile. There we go. Nice try. Still dropping missiles. Right, you know what, this seems like you can hit it until it comes after you. Here we go. Now we got him. Okay, that's not hitting anything with like this. No. Oh, that one got me. Sorry, dragon. Should have started hitting that earlier. Okay, I think we defeated this thing. Yeah, that's right. Do not f with my dragon. All right, that's level one, episode one. We defeated, uh, I'm assuming if they rank it, I'll probably get like a B rank, maybe a C rank. Shot down ratio, 78%. That's like a C, I think. You get one credits, total two credits. Is this an arcade game? All right, let's go to the next episode then. Oh, goodness. Transmission from the patrol ship, sir. The target has been located in Sector 12. To all ships, prepare for battle. Inform ground troops to position wire barricade. Yes, sir. We must capture that dragon at all costs. He's pretty and blue. I want it. All right, so they they coming. I was gonna say if they send like three or four of those ships to me at one time, that'll probably do it. I don't know if I'd be able to shoot down all those missiles. Those missiles were tough, surprisingly. They took they took a few shots before they would actually explode. Oh, we're loading again. All right, I'm gonna go make a sandwich. When I come back, it should finally be time. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <sighs> this loading is bad. I mean, at least the levels are fairly sizable, but why is the loading so long? That's my one main critique. Like, I'd, I'd have to dock this thing points for loading, for sure. Are these bad? Oh, God. Oh, it's coming after me, whatever it is. Oh god, something... Something getting me. Oh dear. Can I do a barrel roll? Doesn't look like it. Oh, I'm hovering now. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. Okay. I 
I need like a bomb or something. That's what I need. Oh, get out, get out of me. No, stay away. Okay, what's next? Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. The Empire won't get you, the local flora and fauna will, for sure. Why is everybody out to get me? Maybe they're just all very hungry. Poor dragon meat. This world is quite hostile. Oh god. Oh no. Oh jeez. Oh no. Oh, he's shooting goo at me. Oh goodness. There's another one. They're everywhere. Oh, so many. Oh, I wish I had rapid fire. Oh my god, I do have rapid fire. Hold on a second. I got an idea, guys. Hold on. Two seconds. I have rapid fire. We're about to show this game what's up. Rapid fire! Come to me! It's a, it's a, it's a wired controller. It's, it's wired. I'm sorry. It's gonna, it's not gonna take a second. It's gonna take like, it's gonna take like, like 30, it's gonna like 20 seconds. Cause it's wired. Oh my goodness. Plug it in. Is that, is it plugged in? It feels, it feels pretty plugged in. Hold on. Uh oh. Press the buttons. Yeah. Now we're cooking. Oh, it's on. Uh, as soon as I remember how to program it. Okay. Okay, I think you gotta hold the turbo. Okay, hopefully. Nope. Nope. Hold on. I know how to do this. There's a way to do this. Uh, let's see. Hold down the turbo button, maybe? <gasps> no, I forgot how to use it. That makes me sad. Oh, wait, there it is. Yeah! <laughs> oh, you done messed up, A.A. Ron. I got turbo. Okay. Now we're cooking. Look at this. Now I don't have to constantly tap. This is wonderful. My recommendation, man, get get the get that turbo for Panzer. I feel like at this point, because it's been around for so long, turbo should come standard on controllers and macros. Like, what are we doing? What is this life that we live where we don't have turbo? You know? Like standard. It's about time. Oh god. Yeah, Turbo made short work of that guy. Uh-oh. 
Are we cutscening? What's happening? He's popping in to say hi. He's like, I'll get you next time. In episode three, maybe. Enemies defeated. 88. Enemies missed. 27. Whoops. Shot down ratio. Uh, we're 1% down. But we got mo credits. I'll take it. All right, now we got rapid fire, though. I'm, I think we're going to see that percentage go up. I mean, granted that, you know, it's not even more difficult to shoot them down because it's episode three and, and levels and video games get progressively harder traditionally. Uh, yeah, no, nah, I think it'll be fine. It's probably fine. It's fine. It's probably fine. Yeah. I should wait until the loading screen to put on turbo, but man... My fingers were getting tired. <laughs> and the thing is, it shoots just as fast as you can tap. Clearly, as you can see, it was shooting way faster. So this turbo controller I got, it's got the Nintendo Switch logo on it. So it's officially licensed. I think it's a Hori. Yeah, it's a Hori. Um, and you just hold down the turbo button and press a button. And then you assign that as turbo. Like whatever button you want. It's awesome. Get out of here. This one's not presenting as an enemy on my uh, screen, which is interesting. Are you crashing and burning? Is that what's happening? Yeah, that's right. You don't want none. Not at this rapid fire. Uh-uh. You definitely don't want a nun. Okay, I think that one's already dead too. Maybe I just killed the other one, like, really quick. And that's why I didn't show up as a blip. Oh, they're putting smoke up so I can't see their attacks. Crazy. I love it, though. It's super smart. Oh, God. Break shit. I love it. Uh oh. Hold on. Oh shit. Watch out, buddy. I love this. I uh, I think the reason why Derek didn't like it is because his thumbs were getting tired. I think that's probably it. The secrets of success, if you want to really enjoy Panzer Dragoon, you gotta get that you gotta get that turbo controller. I got this thing for like 20 bucks. The best investment ever. So worth it. hit a little bit, but that's okay. We're making it. It's a tough level. I'm glad they don't grade on accuracy, because I'm just throwing shots out here. Where are you? Oh, there you are. Oh, they're tough. Take a few shots. Yeah, boy. This is fun. It's actually on sale right now, too. It's one of the reasons why I recently bought it. I don't know if the sale's still going on, though. I hope it is. If anybody watching is interested. 
I got it for like, uh, I want to say like seven or eight bucks. To me, right now, worth it. I love this game. It's great. All right, what's next? What we got? I'm ready for it. I wonder if it's like super short. That could be part of it. It feels like prototype Imperial Assault Ship. It feels like it should be kind of short because it feels very arcadey. I'm getting extra lives and there's levels and things. Can't really shoot that. What's this other thing? Whatever it is, it says it's right in front of me, but I don't see it. Oh, there you are. Oh, oh dear. Okay, you gotta shoot it so they'll disconnect. I gotta shoot it looks like in the lower region. Oh, watch out. Yeah, rapid fire was definitely a good decision that I made today. I don't know if I would have been able to survive without it. It would have been really hard. Out. Oh, dragon. Wish I knew how to dodge if that was a thing. I feel like I'm unnecessarily taking hits. Yeah, crash and burn. I think we got him. Oh, hold on. Slime just came. Oh, wait. Level's over. They're chasing me, but level's over. Oh, I should move this. This is bumping my microphone cord. That's not good. I'll just put it over here. I think that's... Yeah, maybe. How'd we do? We missed nine that time. See? Rapid fire FTW. That's a 91% shot down ratio. Yes, ma'am. Let's go. I love it. Okay, here we are loading again. It's going. It's going to take a while. Just going to check the social medias while it's loading. How's everybody doing tonight? Looks like they're doing good. People are very angry on Twitter. What else is new? To be honest, if you're paying attention, you should be angry. Things aren't great, but also they are. It's weird. <laughs> They're not as good as they should be. And for many people, they just downright suck. For me personally, things are doing pretty great. But that doesn't uh, make me blind to the fact that people struggle. So I do what I can. I mean, we all do what we can. You raise awareness. You donate money. You got time. You de devote it to your cause, that type of thing. I feel like if each individual did that, you know, truly just did what they thought was the best thing to do to help other people in their hearts... It'd be all right. We'd be, we'd be a better place. I hope. That's the kind of kids I'm trying to raise, damn it. So, we'll see.
Oh, I miss those guys. It sucks. Wait, they're coming back. Thank you for coming back. Appreciate you. Oh, wow. I really do wish I knew how to dodge. I guess I just gotta... I gotta choose whether to aim or dodge. Because the same thing that you use to move the reticle around is what you use to move your dragon. Probably a relic of the time. I never held a Saturn controller. Did it have only one stick? I feel like it should have had two. Its contemporaries had two before it even existed. So what gives? Why am I not aiming with one button and then moving the dragon with the other? That's what should be happening. Let me check something real quick. Oh. Oh, I forgot. I'm on turbo, aren't I? Um, input mapping. Oh, oh, okay. Classic. Show mapping. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Fire weapon. Hold. Accept. Classic. Rotate. Selection up. Zoom, zoom in and zoom out. Okay. What else we got? Can you... Modern. Okay. What's modern? Accept back. Fire weapon. Hold to auto aim. Fire weapon. Rotate camera. It's not that much different. Oh, no. It does have a separate aim and move. Okay. We definitely have to finish that. Okay. Let me see. Um... Okay, let me see. I think I switched my um, turbo. Let's try it. Yep, okay. There we go. Now I'm talking all kinds of shit. I'm throwing off a little bit because now the aim is a lot less sensitive. Or it's a lot more sensitive, I should say. So it's kind of, it's kind of scooting around. That's okay. I'll get used to it. There's definitely a disparity about how the dragon moves versus how the um, the reticle moves. But again, this helps because now I can move the dragon independently and dodge while I'm shooting, which is what what we need in our lives right now. That's what we need. I still wish I could barrel roll or dodge. I feel like that would be better in a game this type, especially when your fat ass dragon is like takes up like 15% of the screen. Like that's that's a big target. I got a big old hitbox here. But we learned a couple of things. We learned oops. We learned we just learned another thing. What we learned is you wanna switch the controls to modern. And you wanna get yourself a turbo controller for show. And these things are the things you want to get used to if you want to succeed in Panzer Dragoon. I think that's what it is. What's this? That's a bad guy? I feel like that's a bad guy. That's the Guardian. Oh, he's upset. Uh-oh. Don't you hit me. Don't you do it. I'm not doing a whole lot of damage to this guy. Uh-oh. Oh, God. Okay. We're okay. Hey there. You silly bird. I think I gotta hit it in the wing. Yeah. Okay. I destroyed one of its wings. This is positive. 
He's not a fan of it. He doesn't like it. Oh, God. Oh, oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Now we gotta shoot the head. Okay, got that. Now what? Now what are we shooting on this thing? I think he's dead. I think we got him. Cheers. Look at him just wiggling around. He don't know what to do. Oh, wait, he's back. Wait, he's, no, he's not. Nah, okay, we're good. Oh, who this? Is it our rival? Is he out here trying to catch more Pokemon than us? What's happening? I think we're going to the next episode. It's going to be in the jungle, baby. You're going to die. Or is it more level? Are we having more level right now? Okay, now. I don't know. How do we do? Oh, I missed more enemies than last time. But there were so many enemies to shoot. Cool. We got six credits. We're doing good. I haven't even gotten close to death, so they got to bring it a little bit harder. And now that I can move my dragon independently of aiming, uh, what are you going to do? Again, I would prefer a dodge. I'd rather just leave. Like, see, he's so huge. Let him do a spinny. Give me some invincibility frames. And I'm, I'm set. I'm good to go. That's okay. Yeah, I was explaining to Derek because he told me he just it wasn't that good and he wasn't really enjoying it. And I thought about the concept behind the game or, you know, what I knew at the time. I didn't know it was this arcade or it felt more like a shmup. But I thought it was like an adventure game where... And you fly around a dragon, and you shoot shit, you know. And I was like, you know, we've played so many games where that's a mode in a much bigger game that you almost kind of get it, you know. Like, you feel like it's been done to death. It's been done by other people a bunch. Possibly been done better. But I don't know. I, you know, playing it myself. Yeah, I mean, it's it's simple. It definitely feels like an arcade experience, but. It, it does what it set out to do, set out it sets out to do well <laughs> it does what it sets out to do well I think you know like I said I like the art um, the controls are fine especially now that they got the modern controls that helps plastic aren't even that bad it's just they don't utilize any kind of separate control scheme for the dragon and the aiming that's just that's an oversight I, I do not understand given the time when this game came out. It is older, but people people knew what was up. They knew. Dragon. Uh, whatever it was, I might have missed it. I thought it was going to approach. Maybe it was back there being an extra enemy. Got him. Your sensitive bits. Oh, geez. Oh, my gosh. It's coming after me. Oh, 
Oh no. Okay, I think we took it down finally. Now you want to be sensitive to shots. Okay, what part of you is vulnerable? That's the thing we gotta figure out. Whatever it is, I I don't think it's exposed yet. There we go. Whoa. Okay. That's it. Yeah, we got you. Got you. Uh oh. Maybe not. Yes. You're done. Get out of here. Keep shooting it, because why not? ABS, man. That's the golden rule of shmups. See? There's more. Yeah! Got him! <laughs> Can't handle it. Ninety-five. Okay. That's the best yet. Instructions from Unit 1 received and confirmed. All ground units mobilized. Initiate operations and secure the area. Uh-oh. What's happening? So I'm just taking them down too. Oh, some more of the monsters. Okay then, very cool. Episode six. It's going low for a while. Strap in. That's okay. This week is moving right along. Hopefully, it's going good for folks. It's June. It's summertime. See a lot of kids are getting out of school. That's nice. Although, what is school lately? <laughs> I don't even know. Uh, I I think your things are going back to quote unquote normal, whatever that is. I just I wish more kids could get vaccinated, but I get why because they haven't even started testing on kids until recently. So, also, how do you test for kids without testing on kids? How does that work? I don't know. I'm glad most of the adults are vaccinated. Everybody in my bubble, all the adults in my bubble are vaccinated. That's nice. But I do. I got babbies. My brain wants to move the dragon with the right stick and the aiming with the left, which is kind of odd, but it is just what it wants to do. Used to that. Looks like I can't get a lock on this guy. Whoa! Is this 
not great. I'm getting lit up. I might have to start this stage over. Oh, watch out. Oh, watch out, Dragon. I'm sorry, buddy. I'm sucking at this level all of a sudden. Oh, my God. Oh, no, he did die. Okay. We'll have to start that one over. Ah, you know what sucks about that? It's probably a really long loading screen again. Okay. Let's see if it just throws us back into it. It's gone. Oh, you son of a bitch. That's, that's, whoa, that's the payment. It's the time investment. <laughs> okay. All right. That started off real bad. I was like, oh, this game's pretty easy. And then, boom, it was like episode six. Give us your quarters. It's weird. It plays like an arcade game, but I'm pretty sure it came out on consoles first. In fact, I don't even know if it ever was in the arcade. Maybe it was like an app. Wouldn't it be weird if there was a cab? I didn't look into that. Guys down the bridge, watch out. They just they're really good at moving and um, also hitting me. <laughs> I don't say. Imagine if I was still on classic and I didn't grab my turbo, you'd be in big trouble. We didn't hit a lot. I'm really concerned about that because there's going to be a boss at the end of this. While the bosses haven't been ridiculous, so the, have the, le the levels haven't been ridiculous either. But that has changed. So I'm a little afraid to uh, meet the boss at this level. back here. What is that? Oh, shit. <laughs> I thought my dragon was in for a second, and I was like, how do I hit that? I can't hit my own butt. There's no way a dude can hit his own butt. Oh, there is no boss of that. The level was the boss all along. The level was the friends that we made along the way. All along. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> we ain't get a credit for that one. You know what? I can't be mad. At least we survived. 
Ah, okay. Here we go. What's happening? I got our rival here. We're following him. I'm not supposed to let him get to the thingy. Don't get to the thingy, sir. Oh, he got to the thingy. That was the one, that was my one job. After rendezvous, take unit to full strength. Whoops. Not full strength. Homeboy couldn't handle the full strength. But did he have turbo, though? He probably didn't have turbo. He was probably out here using classic controls. No turbo. And that's how he got bodied. Last episode. R-R-L-L. Up, down, left, right. Yeah? Is that a code? Uh, R, L, L, up, down, left, right. Is that a code? Hold on a second. Pantra Dragoon Remake Code. Okay. No, that's... Oh, it does have cheat codes, though. I wonder if that's what it just gave me. Uh, Oh, that's God Mode. A mode in which the player cannot take any damage. Oh! Oh, that's cool. They just give you a code if you get to the last stage. That's nice. It's like, here, man. You did it, buddy. We haven't even beat the game yet, but you're there, and we salute you. Here's, here's a god mode code. Just for you. I can't enter it right now. It has to enter at the... Oh, Super Dragon. Oh, no! He's so big. He's big boy. Yo, look at my sick flying skills. We've been through so much bullshit to get here. At least an hour of it. Oh, what's this? What's this wacky shit? Oh. Watch out now. Do my old shmup thing where I just kind of move across the screen. Oh, and like I'm in a box. And if they're aiming at me, they'll never hit me because I'm always not where I used to be. Yeah. They don't lead shots in shmups too much. Sometimes they will just cover the screen in bullshit and just try to confuse you, and that works. It does work. Oh, God. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Oh man, it shoots a blast of things at you and you get it. No point no. Gonna try to if I can if I can hit that. Yeah. I hate that I take that uh oh. He's charging the laser. Yeah, I think I I think I decharged it. Yeah. Not so tough that your little buddies, are ya? Oh jeez. Where's my Oh, it's because I'm aiming backwards. I can't dodge when I'm aiming backwards. That sucks. I was like, how come I can't move? That's why. That's another oversight. Like it's cool that you can look all around or whatever. Oh, they're back! Oh no! I should probably just focus fire on the Super Dragon at this point. I'm going to get you. Please believe. I'm not suffering through another loading screen, damn it. You're going down. Oh. Oh, my jurors. Oh. We got him. All right, that's phase one. Got to be. Oh, maybe he's done, but something else is coming. Oh, there he is. So much for getting powered up, huh? Like he's like the dark version of me. He's not blue. He's got red eyes. Da -da 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 -da. 
Maybe he'll come back and help me. He'll realize the error of his ways. And in a moment of desperation, when all hope is lost, and I'm fighting the final, final, final boss. Oh. Huh. Okay. I got the rank of shooter, McGavin, so that's great. Eat pieces of shit for breakfast, so that's good. That's good stuff. Okay. Gotta be like a secret level, right? Or do I have to play on a harder difficulty, maybe? Whoa, what happened? They took me! Come back, dragon! They took me! Oh, do you do that on purpose? Because he's trying to, like, bomb the guy? Dragon, come back! No! Don't do it, buddy! No, we were friends! Oh. And the world was saved once again. The land was at peace. On a sandy beach, our hero awakens. It gets everywhere. Up his nose. It's rough in its course. Oh, are those dragon prints? The dragon make it? Dragon! Dragon made it. Falcor! <laughs> Where's my best friend, Dragon Falcor? He's a luck dragon, you see. Super lucky. Helps you scare away the bullies. Check out this sweet fucking art that we made for this game. Make a pixel. Wow, so I honestly did not expect that we would beat a game for first time our first episode of First Time Tuesdays, but there's a first time for everything. <laughs> so here we are. It was a short game I picked. I guess I honestly just uh, I saw it for sale and I've been eyeballing it like it's in my little wish list on switch for a while I think oh this be neat to play and I regret nothing I had a good time with it and now I, I gotta try it on the harder difficulty modes is what I gotta do the sound is rough I gotta say like, I need to double check and make sure it's not just me. Let me look at my... Let me look at my... Oh, sorry about the microphone there. I just bumped it. Let me look at the... Settings and make sure... No, my settings are good, I think. I'm going to turn this down a little bit. Sometimes when I turn... Because I have headphones plugged to my TV. It's basically how I listen to it so it doesn't go into the mic. And sometimes... When I turn the headphone phones or the the TV volume up too high and then connect the headphones, the sound is really blasted out. That might be what's happening here, but usually I don't have to have it this low in order to hear the sound more clearly. It does sound a lot better, though. I think the sound on this just blows out easier. I think that's the issue. Okay. Well, noted. I'll keep this. I'll keep the internal TV volume a little lower. That's some. That's some inside baseball here on the only. The only type of inside baseball you're gonna get on a novice, unpopular channel like mine. <laughs> I. Uh, I will never blow up. I will. I don't think there is a niche for guys like me, if there ever was. I think the people that usually get popular on Twitch already had a pretty decent following of friends. Like if if there was a Twitch when I was like in my teens and twenties, I'd have been all over it, and I probably would have been able to cultivate an audience. But I can't think of anybody who wants to play watch a forty year old play games. Okay, <laughs> I play them. Okay. I don't do anything particularly the best. I don't speedrun. I don't do challenges. Although I'd be up for it if somebody challenged me to try something. Certainly. The, I mean, the most I do is I'll learn of a difficulty mode and try it out. Like, you know, we beat 
Uh, let's, what have we done on the stream? Let's talk about our accomplishments. Uh, I beat Ghost of Tsushima on lethal. That was something, you know? There was definitely some tough fights, like like that one duel against that one guy to get that one outfit. Oh my god. Um, most of the time I'll just do, like, you know, normal difficulty and I'll only raise the difficulty up if I feel like it's too easy. We ended up doing that for um, Persona 5 Strikers. We played through that game on hard. Um, or did we, did we do normal? I feel like I got bodied and I switched to normal. Or I can't remember if I did hard or not. I, you know, I have to go back and look at the tape on that one. And it, I may eventually play uh, some Mass Effect, but I don't know. There's no show I can slot that into where I can finish the game. But when I originally played those, I played them on the hardest difficulty. And they were tough, but doable for me. I can't tell if I'm worse at... Aww. Look at this one. Somebody's kid did that one. That's cute. I love it. Um, yeah, I can't tell if I'm worse at video games than I was when I was younger or better. Probably worse. I feel like I was better in my 20s. I feel like we're all better in our 20s. Which is sad, because we don't have the knowledge or the life experience to really apply that towards something constructive most of the time. Like, I finally get the phrase, as I enter old age, I finally get the phrase, the youth is wasted on the young. It's not like the young don't deserve it. They totally do. I'm no shade against young people. I was young myself, and, and I was fine. But I feel like as you, you know, hopefully as you progress in life, you learn things, you, you become a better person, and you find better ways to manage your your focus I mean it took me god I think like 30 years I think or maybe close to like 35 I mean until I was like 30 or 35 to finally like figure out who I was and like work towards fixing you know what was damaged or broken and I feel like you know now that I'm like cool I know who I am and I'm confident and living a good life and I met somebody I really care about I got a family things are going great my knees hurt. <laughs> I just wish I was younger so I could enjoy all of that and be a more physically fit, faster, quicker version of myself. The secret mode. I take it all back. Everything was worth it to get to the secret mode. Input secret command. Do it. Is it the one you showed me before? Oh no, this is different. What is this? Up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, B, B. Let me go back and, like... Because I'm not going to write that shit down. Um, okay, so we got... Okay. We got episode zero. A secret stage that was previously unlockable in the original. Okay. Uh, so we'll probably unlock that. Unlimited continues. Super weapon mode. Ooh! Pandora's box. This code is only usable after the player defeats the... Okay, we gotta figure this out. Let's do Pandora's box. I don't know what the hell that is. Up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, BB. How do I know if I unlock something? Oh, pass the cheat code to enter. Pass the cheat code to enter? What the hell does that mean? Pandora's box. Okay, let's try the super weapon mode. Left, 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 L, R, right, 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 right. That didn't really work. Okay. Okay, how many lefts? One, two, three, four, five. And how many rights? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I don't think I got it that time. Hmm. Okay. I'll try this one one more time. Left, 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 left. Okay, wait, hold on. Got to do it again. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. Yep. 
Yeah, I don't know if I can get that one. Too bad. Super weapon mode. Uh, let's try episode zero. Let's try that. Up, up, up. Down, down, down. Left, right, left, right, left, right. RL. Doesn't work either. Aw. Okay, let's see. Started games two, finished games one. Oh yeah, because I was doing sound test earlier. Uh, time in game, 38 minutes. What? Wow, it's been an hour. It's been over an hour. That loading is insane. Uh, normal shots, special shots. Oh, maybe that has to do with the fact that like, um, my accuracy is terrible, but of course it is. Okay, let me try... Hmm. Let me try this one more time. Up, 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 down, 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 left, right, left, right, left, right, RL. Do you just gotta go really fast? Oh, that did something. Okay, I heard like a sound. Let me turn my sound up so I can actually hear what I'm doing it right. We're gonna try episode zero one more time. Got it. Oh, got it. Okay, this is episode zero. Nice, very cool. You just gotta do it really fast, like old school fast. <laughs> Plus, it's the the D pad on this um, uh, turbo controller is a little wonky. Not as precise as, like, say the the Joy-Con D pad. Yeah, prototype levels, baby. Oh, they're getting away. Oh. I wish I could map two buttons to shot so I could still do special shots. Because I think in order to do special shots, that what I need to do is um, hold the button down. But obviously, I can't do that with Turbo. But it's just like, Turbo is so good in this game in particular. It'd be kind of cool if in episode zero, the pilot was like the original guy that got, like, got killed in the beginning of the game or whatever. It doesn't look like that's the case, but I mean, that'd be a neat nod. Like if it's a prototype level, they're probably just letting you play it as is. There's a little jank to it, so I can I can tell that's kind of what the conceit is. I love stuff like this though. Ratchet and Clank used to do stuff like this all the time. I can't remember which game did what, but there was like uh, a museum. Le like you know, in Ratchet and Clank, the conceit is you're like traveling from planet to planet. And one of the early Ratchet and Clanks, like one of the first three, there was this planet you could go to that was basically like the developer planet and you could check out like particle effects and art and different character models and some cut content from the game and learn about the making of the game. Like it was like a little Ratchet and Clank museum basically. It was the coolest thing ever. I love stuff like that. 
a recent game that did that was, um, or something similar to that, not really as much behind the scenes, but still very cool, was uh, Persona 5 Royal. In the Royal version of Persona 5, there is this extra place you can go to. I can't remember the name of it, but you get access to it fairly quickly. And you can, as you get achievements in the game, like, you know, romanting, romanticizing different characters or achieving, like, you know, maximum friendship with different characters and beating different bosses and playing different parts of the game, whatever, whatever. You get points and eventually can purchase decorations from themed after different levels and art. And there was a lot of promotional art and stuff that you could get and different music you could play. And there was even like a, a card game they made just for that area. I don't know exactly what the card game was called either, but it was actually really fun. It was a neat, it was a, it was a game that I'd want to imitate in real life. It was that fun. And you could do it probably with a deck of cards. I'm pretty sure it was created just for the game too. But yeah, I love it when games do stuff like that. They give you a little bit of inside baseball. God of War, the original one, was like that too, actually, now that I think about it. There's a lot of cool shit that you could see. They even had, like, one of those uh, call this phone number. Like, they'll give you a phone number when you do some secret thing in the game. It was either beat the hardest difficulty mode or destroy a statue that seems like you can't destroy it at the very end of the game. But if you keep whacking it, it'll give you a phone number. And I don't know if it still works now, but at the time, you could call the number... And, like, Dave Jaffe, which is the original director of the game, would be like, uh, congratulations, you got to the end of my game. And, sorry, I'm bringing back up the chat. I forgot about leaving it up. Um, got to the end of my game and did the thing. And the Kratos got on there. TC Andrews, basically, and killed him. It was funny. Kratos was a huge douchebag back in the day. He wasn't, you know, troubled dad with troubled past trying to learn to be better. He was just straight up a D-bag with troubled past. Not really learning anything. And I feel like that's a little bit of a loss of a vision from the first game. Like, there seems to be some lessons learned in the first game that we're supposed to transfer over, but then the game switched directors. Like, Corey Barlog, which is the art director at the time of the first game, took over for the second, kind of shifted course with Kratos, which is fine. Because he eventually redeemed himself by being the director of the new God of War, which I think is excellent. Um, but yeah, it just made Kratos even of a worse human being, and then just was like, you know what, screw it, let's just take out all the gods kill any person that gets in our way, regardless of their involvement or their innocence, and just really lean in to being a murderous asshole, and that's what they did. And that, uh, this level, oh my god, this level goes on forever, doesn't it? This level probably goes on forever. Let me pause it and see. Does this, mo does this, photo, photo mode? Oh, look at this, photo mode, you can zoom, oh. Oh, look at this. Look at this pair. That's a little, uh, oof. I don't know. I don't know about photo mode here. I can't zoom in any further, though. That bugs me. I'm going to tilt. Oh, oh. Oh. Anyways, I think we have about exhausted everything that there is to see in Panzer Dragoon. Again, for like seven or eight bucks, I think it's worth it. I think it's fun. Maybe even like a game you could speedrun or learn to speedrun. There's, there's got to be a speedrun community for this game. Also, just a fun shmup. I'll probably come back to it later on and try the harder difficulty modes and futz around with the code some more. See what's what. Good times. So, yeah, I'll probably uh, rap about it a bit on the podcast. My opinion differs from Derek's, I think, but I don't know how much time Derek actually gave to the game. 
It sounds like he didn't play it a ton. Like, he wasn't immediately impressed and kind of just dropped it, which I've been there. I've definitely played games like that where I'm like, eh, and I moved on, never came back. And sometimes when you do come back, you end up being pleasantly surprised. I've had false starts on a few games where I came back recently and, like, I mean, God, Diablo 3 is one of those. I've been playing Diablo 3 obsessively for, like, the past month. And that's a game I tried twice before and never really got past, like, the second chapter. Or the second act. I think they call them acts in that game. But I finally did. I got, uh three characters at max level, over 200 Paragon level, all the extra stuff, just having a great time. Yeah, this goes on forever. <laughs> I think we're going to go back to the menu. Yes. Yes. Maybe it doesn't, but it seems like it does. I mean, we were playing it for like 10 minutes. That's a really, for this game especially, that's a really long ass level. It's just the same enemies over and over again, but neat. So that's Panzer Dragoon, the remake. Pass the cheat code to enter. That's that's how it works. You gotta pass it. I hope you enjoyed the first episode of First Time Tuesdays as much as I did. Stay tuned for next week. I don't know what game it's gonna be, but I definitely have plenty of games that I have not tried yet, and I'm looking forward to using this show as an excuse to dust them off and see what they're all about. And who knows, maybe we'll discover a few gems along the way. I know that I did just that when we did blind play Wednesdays back in the day so I'm, I'm glad the show is back and I'll see everybody on Thursday for casual Thursdays probably just be dicking around in the world of uh, Kamarucho, Japan as a hard boiled detective it's a neon city but where the lights are brightest the shadows are even darker that's some real shit that he says in that game I love it alright have a good rest of your evening, and we'll see you on Thursday. Bye-bye.